Hello and welcome, or welcome back. My name is Wayne. I'm still here on the Xanadu server, playing Worm Online. And I was going to wait until I got further up. To Look at that guy dive. That's so cool. I was going to wait until I was further up the lake here before I started the video, but I spotted this super cool blue well. So I thought I would uh, get a little bit of video of it as well. Look at him flipping his tail around. This is my second attempt to do this video now. I tried a few days back and hit some major lag that just completely interfered with the uh, video. I do believe this is part of a mission. Yes, Foe. Foe urges you to slay eight champion blue wells that appeared across the land. 1% complete. Could you imagine killing this poor, innocent, beautiful, majestic whale? No way, man. Here's his eyeball. He's looking right at us. I'm pretty sure he could easily kill me. I don't, I don't know. I've never tried to kill one of these guys before. They're pretty amazing though. You can see his teeth in there. I've only seen these a couple of times in this lake. Very large. Okay, let's get a move on. So, uh, I have been working on my new deed. I will do a... Uh, update video on that although you're probably not too interested in that I mostly do those videos for myself I used to take a bunch of um, a bunch of screenshots so I could see how I've progressed but I found that I like doing the videos more that way I can get a bit of live footage there's that weird mouse bug again when you're turning to change your view in third person for some reason it'll just snap back and do this view I don't know why. It's random. It's annoying, but it doesn't happen often enough to be too annoying. Let me check for lag. Oh, no, okay. I did have a little bit of lag earlier. Okay, so what is this video about? Well, let's look around here. If I look all the way around the lake here, you can see a familiar sight mountains some super tall some not so tall but mountains this lake is completely landlocked by mountains this isn't the only lake that's landlocked many are and uh oh and a lot of players have dealt with this well actually i won't say a lot of players i would say a handful of very dedicated players have dealt with this by tunneling into the mountains to create below ground canals for people like me that may have built a boat on the lake but don't want to be stuck in the lake forever now of course you could craft yourself a ship transport and move your boat wherever you like but what's the fun in that if you've built yourself a boat then you probably want it on the water i know i do do i need food let me check here Oh, I do need food. I think I will make a pit stop here at Dawn's Light and get some food. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you one of those underground canals. If you're on the sermon, uh, the sermon, if you're on a, uh, a server like Harmony or Cadence or Melody, there's a good chance you'll never see a large or a long underground canal. Are they even necessary there? Probably not. There might be some canals, but I think those will primarily be above ground canals. If someone has built or plans to build a large underground canal there, it will probably be just for the fun of it. Okay, that should uh, hold me off for a while. 
Let's continue right along. So there's a good chance you will never see one of these really long canals unless you happen to be on the Xanadu server. Ke uh, keeping in mind this server is four times larger than most of the other servers. It is the largest world in Worm Online. So we're going to be headed right up. Let me see. Let me see how well I know this lake. Right about there. Wait a minute. No. There. Let's see how, uh, how close I am to being to aiming right at that tunnel entrance, or canal entrance, rather. I hope that one day the, the way ter terraforming is displayed from a distance is fixed so that it doesn't look so oddly shaped. That's a deed over there, or it used to be a deed. This is one, too takes a while for the buildings to pop up. This one has been disbanded willingly as I have recently come to learn. But it will be a while before those walls and fences decay because they're crafted with high QL and out of marble. So if you wanted to snag that spot you have a long wait before you can build whatever you wanted to build there. Anyway, oh look! Oh I'm pretty close. There's a canal entrance right there. I was just slightly to the right of it. Which actually I think works out right anyway because there is a bridge that I have to pass under in order to get to the canal. And the bridge is slightly off center. How about that? Okay, anyway, I know. It's just not impressive at all, is it? It just means I've spent a lot of time on this lake. Let me slow down a little bit. There was uh, one thing that I wanted, a couple of things that I wanted to mention before hitting this canal. One, um, it's huge, it's long, every tile has been edited, and because of that, sometimes there can be a little extra lag, and there was quite a bit of lag just a few minutes before I started this video. Hopefully it won't be a major issue though. Number two, I will not be talking while in the canal. No commentary, but I am going to play some background music, stuff that I like, it's kind of chill music. If you don't like it, just hit the volume, bring it all the way down. You're not going to miss anything that I'm saying because I won't be talking. And uh, number three, this is a dual canal, meaning there is a canal for people on boat and also uh, there is a road next to it for people on foot. So you may notice, well, you will notice because I'll be highlighting them. You will notice some statues of dogs along the road portion. And each dog has been renamed with a number. That number represents how many tiles from this starting point in we have traveled. So on occasion, I'll mouse over one so you can see how far we've traveled. I bet this is longer than you think. This isn't the longest canal, but it is definitely a long canal. I will be going at full speed, but that speed depends on the wind. So far, we're doing okay. I'm at half mast. I'll be going full sail inside, and we're currently at 11 kilometers per hour, so not too bad. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit more so I can finish talking here before we enter. Okay, so keep an eye on the dog. See if you can guess how far you think we're going. And um, hit the volume if you don't like the music. Play your own. And when we get to the very end, there's going to be a, bar a bonus RDO video. Or not. It's not a standalone video, it'll be at the end of this video. RDO stands for Redeed Opportunity. So if you're looking for a new place to live, there's a really good spot there you could snag. Although it has been a few days since I've been down here, so it's possible someone has already grabbed it. I guess we'll find out when we get there.
And there you have it. I think it's about 800, at least 800 tiles. Each tile is four meters. Or at least that's how it translates. Anyway, uh, we got lucky because we had some decent wind in there. Uh, it can take quite a while to get through that canal on whenever the wind is low. Let me bring this back and I'll pop these back up. And the RDO bonus is right here. It's what I call a gatekeeping RDO or a gatekeeping deed because it, it is a deed that is right next to a canal. And as a matter of fact, there are two canals here. This one leads to a different lake and then this one leads to Hammerhead Lake. And uh, someone has already expanded this deed by dropping all this dirt, flattening it, doing all of the, uh, doing a lot of the work. It doesn't mean all of the work is already done though. As I've come to learn on my new deed, which is also completely flat, and as it turns out, there is a lot more work to do there than I initially thought. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. In fact, I kind of enjoy it. So let's just make sure. Yeah, still no claims here. You see a lot of sand and no deeds. Make sure there isn't anything. This, uh, this gnar has been there for quite a while, I believe. Oh, I didn't even see that goblin. I was right, walking right up to it. Um, hmm, I don't have a horse over here. Let me see if I can fight him off and then I'll look around a little bit more. Or maybe not. Looks like he's going to leave me alone. I think I've lost his... He's lost my scent. All right. We'll disengage here. I think this wagon has been here for quite some time, too. As a matter of fact, only one horse on there. I guess the other horse died. Maybe he wasn't being cared for. It is a named, this one's a named horse. Let's check for any damage on here. And uh, 23 damage. So it's been a while since anyone's been here to repair that. So there used to be palisade here. I bet the palisade walls went all the way around. This is probably a one silver deed if you made it somewhat squarish. 20 by 25 is 500 tiles. And that's one silver per month. The upkeep cost is relatively low compared to the purchase cost. Let's see if there's been any repairing done on this guy. 7 damage. So there has been, well, actually it's a higher QL too. So decay slows down a lot based upon the QL of the item. But as you can see, it's decent. Uh oh, what is that? Another goblin or the same goblin? Let me see if I can get away because I wanted to point out at least one more thing here. If I can avoid getting into a fight, I will at this point. Did I bring cotton with me? Let's see. Yeah, I have some cotton. So this road that you see back here that goes up, it leads to a starter town. I'll bring up the map. So we are here, and that starter town is V-Rock Landing. So you're, you're almost equal distance away from two starter towns, V-Rock Landing and Linton. And, of course, you can get through this tunnel to get to Linton. So it's not, not a bad location. Sometimes location is more important than the terrain. Just depends on where exactly you want to be. Bunch of clay here and someone has already flattened it. So this can otherwise be a major pain to deal with. But it looks like someone else has already dealt with it. So, look, all the babies. There's a baby lamb here. There's a baby cow over here called this Genesis Island where all the newborns go I don't know uh, let me see it uh, looks like this deed may have been disbanded over there but you may have noticed on the way in 
they had their own private entrance into that canal. Maybe. It depends on how far in they, they, um, they claimed. And I just ran into that other goblin. I'll cruise around the other side so we can get another look. What could you do with a claim that's already completely flattened? Well, you could completely change the entire shape of it if you wanted to. You can also create terraces. Just because it's flat doesn't mean you have to leave it flat. If you don't like the level that it's at, you could always lower it too. You could make it right on the waterline if you wanted. That's what I'm doing with a portion of my new claim. I'm lowering some of it and keeping the rest of it elevated. This looks suspiciously like it's the same level as the one that I just claimed. Let me take a look at this slope over here. 17. Okay, no, the one that I have is 14. Oh, it's a little bit off. Maybe they're not consistent. 21. All right, so it's not perfectly flat. 24. Yeah, they're... Oh, wait a minute. No, maybe it's just because the level down here is not even. That's definitely flat. 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 Never mind. It looks like it's at about the same level as the one that I just claimed, though. I think this leads to a mine. I think there's also a mine over here, back here, just to the left of this highway. And so you're already connected to the highway. All you would need to do is plop down a... Um, um, oh, shoot, I forgot what they're called now. It's not a token. All right, well, I'm not going to look it up. Not bad. You may not be a big fan of just seeing a big flat chunk of land sticking out in the water, though. I know I wasn't. I really wasn't. And uh, the deed that I recently purchased is just is exactly that. So I kind of surprised myself by taking it. But in hindsight, uh, I do like the deed a lot. And I haven't encountered any major issues. I am having difficulty with some clay that I've been slowly wrestling through. But I think that I can ultimately get it to look the way that I want it to. It's just going to take some time. And it isn't without errors as well. But I don't think they are errors from the original people that had it deeded. I think it's just from uh, travelers that have stumbled upon it and done some alterations here and there. Anyway, that's it. So um, let me show you one more thing, actually, on the map. So this other canal leads over here to this lake, which, as you can see, is directly open to the ocean. Of course, you can get to the ocean through Hammer Lake as well, but this would actually be a more direct route if you wanted to do that. So not a bad spot, really. You're close to two starter towns. You have a canal here and a canal here that you are directly adjacent to. Extremely convenient. If you're the type of person that likes to, to travel a lot because you have so many direct routes available from your uh, deed location or what would be your deed location. Not bad at all. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I could see myself being tempted to grab this spot as well, but uh, I'm already dedicated to my new one. So no, although this is a, a much better location than where I am. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking maybe I should have just grabbed this spot because, because it does have such a good location. Maybe I'll think about it. Maybe I'll come back and take a look and consider it. So if you want it, maybe you should grab it fast before I change my mind. And I have the silver to do it too. I can out-silver you any day. No problem at all. Actually, I think this does look abandoned now. Not a bad spot either, and it looks like there's a, a road there. Or is that a bridge? Can't tell. If you like high terrace deeds along the water, this would be perhaps a good spot. But I'm not going to go over to see if it's been claimed yet or if it's been disbanded, I mean. I am going to head back, and that's going to do it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you again soonish.